Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun RAM comparison video between MX Linux 21 on the left hand side here versus Zorin OS 16 Lite Edition on the right hand side here. So they are both using the, the, the same front end uh, desktop environment, so XFCE, but you couldn't be blamed for not noticing it because Zorin OS has certainly customized the way, the look and the feel of this one, which is quite nice, quite refined looking there. But anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to load up a terminal for each of these machines here. And uh, ooh, I want to find one here and we'll use the nice lightweight HTOP system monitor tool there. So it runs just through the terminal just to give us a bit of a look and feel here. And on the left, hand side for MX Linux, we are running at about 495 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so that's pretty good there. Whereas Zorin OS on uh, 16 Lite Edition on the right hand side, it's running at about 717 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So they are using uh, basically, I won't get into it now, but basically the same ba back ends and the same front ends, but there's certainly uh, Zorin OS has gone a long way to do a lot of customizations in terms of the desktop environment, making it look pretty and almost Windows 10-esque in a way, perhaps, or something like that. So uh, we are looking at, what's that, uh, 5, 6, 700, about 720 megabytes of RAM, sorry, 220 megabytes of RAM extra on boot up for Zorin OS. Is it worth it? I don't know. It depends on the, the machine that you're using. If it's for a netbook, a notebook, a laptop, uh, an old desktop PC, it all does depend. But they uh, they do have the same basic functionality. You can still do web browsing, emailing, and uh, you know even some office applications and things like that, slides and uh, Word documents. But uh, always take these videos with a bit of a grain of salt anyway. But thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.